Hello. Today we're going to look at a couple of restorative poses. So make sure you've got something comfortable on and let's get started. First, you're going to need a couple of things. And don't worry if you don't have a bunch of yoga pro prompts. I've got some solutions for you. Ideally, if you've got a bolster and a block, perfect. Blanket, great. This is our option if we don't have a bolster. So you're going to get yourself a nice long blanket, one that you can roll up easy. And you can roll it either to a short, fatter bolster, or we can always roll it so it's a little bit longer and more supportive of a bolster. So the first pose we're going to go into is to open the chest and the shoulders. So I'm going to demonstrate it, walk you through a couple of breath, breath work visualizations and then we'll transition to the next pose and you'll have the opportun opportunity to pause in between and please don't mind me if i get a little bit disorient i'm hearing feedback through my own speakers and i'm trying to get used to this okay step one get your bolster or your roll the blanket and you're going to place it parallel to the short end of the mat so bolster short end here or the blanket rolled up grab a block if you especially if you have a bolster to support the head then what you're going to do is you're going to gently lie back on the mat the bolster is opposite where the chest is so where the Right between the mid chest, that would be the back, is where the bolster is going to be. You're going to bring the arms over the bolster, let the block or blanket be there to support the head, and let the arms gently release onto the floor. This is quite a beautiful, deep opening. So just find that pose, really feel the shoulders open. Let the arms, or sorry, the legs be in any position that's most appropriate. And let's come through a deep breath. So take that beautiful deep breath in. Become aware, how does the breath travel? And then let the breath slowly go. We're gonna stay and continue with the breath, inhaling deeply, let the torso expand. And then again, Consciously let the breath go, imagining you're melting over the bolster. Let's do that one more time. Deep, beautiful, focused breath. Let the torso expand. Notice how the breath comes in. And then let the breath slowly go. This is your opportunity. Stay here. Hold for as many breaths as you'd like. Just pause now, or we're gonna continue. So as we take the next breath in, we increase through the torso, and then as we exhale, we're gonna gently roll over to the right. So as the torso expands, we roll off the bolster to the right side. Let the bolster blanket roll over, not too, too far away, but just out of the way. We just take a moment here in a recovery, Check it out. Notice how that feels. And then we're going to reverse. We're going to do a forward fold. So we're going to gently make our way up through to seated once again. Have our bolster, blanket, and block handy. We're going to bring our legs out straight. The bolster or blanket can go one of either way, one of two ways either against the torso, legs have a little bend. We can also have the block to support the head. And then we sit up tall, we reach over towards the ceiling, and then we let ourselves melt forward. And then the head is supported by the chin or the forehead as we release. That's option one. Option two, you use your blanket or bolster. We bring it under the leg. And we can use, again, the block or blanket or block. And that can come between the legs to support the head once again. 
So again, we sit up tall, we take a deep breath in, and then as we exhale, we release and let the head be supported. So whichever you be prefer, let's get ourselves into our forward fold, deep breath in, exhale, making sure we're releasing as we melt over the legs and the bolster. Once again, three deep breaths, that beautiful deep inhale, we have feel, imagine the breath expanding through the front, the sides, the back of the body. And then we let that exhale gently go, imagining we can release, melt just a little bit more towards the floor for, in this forward fold. Another beautiful deep inhale. Become aware. How does the breath travel? Where does it go to in the body? And then we let that exhale gently go. One more breath here. And as we exhale, we completely surrender. This is once again your opportunity to just press pause and stay here for a number of breaths. Or it's time to move on. And as we inhale, we start to come away from the legs, sitting up tall. Let's move the block and the bolster out of the way, but we'll keep the bolster or the blanket handy. We're going to do a supported twist. So as we come into this, we're going to gently come on to our back, hug the knees into the chest, have the bolster, block, blanket, whatever is up handy. Over on the right side, we'll let the knees drop to the right. The arms come out to a T, so they're flat onto the floor, and our gaze away from the legs. When we're here, that right hand can go onto the top of the left leg to assist in the twist. We're going to take our three deep breaths, inhaling. As we exhale, notice how the breath starts to gently go. Two more times, another beautiful deep breath. Feel the torso, torso expand in this twist. And as we exhale, imagine you can release just a little bit more to the right. One more breath. Inhale, notice the torso expands as you come up off the bolster, or the floor, sorry. And then as we exhale, we're getting closer to the bolster or our blanket or our our block that might be there supporting our legs. Now we allow ourselves to go back to our natural breath. Again, this is your opportunity to just hold, press pause, and stay for a few moments, or activate those core muscles, and we're going to go to the other side. So belly button to spine, activating the core. We're going to bring the legs Back through center. So inhale, use the core muscles, bring them back through center. And then bring the block, blanket, bolster to the opposite side as we let the knees drop to the left. The arms come flat to the, flat to the mat, floor. We're gazing over to the right this time. And then that left hand can come onto the top of the right thigh. And we just feel a beautiful Twist and stretch the spine, hips, torso. Deep inhale, let the torso expand. The exhale, imagine maybe we can release. Just find that little bit of space. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, let the torso expand. And then imagine that you can release. Nice, gentle exhale. Last time, inhale, feel the torso expand. And with the exhale, completely surrendering into the twist. Once again, this is your opportunity, opportunity, opportunity to hold this pose. Press pause. And then when you're ready, we're going to continue, activate the core muscles, belly button to spine, use those core muscles, 
to assist as we bring the legs back through center. Take a moment, shake it out. And then we finish in Savasana. So we just let those legs open up. Allow yourself to come to a lying position. The chin is tucked. The arms are supported by the floor or the mat. And we just take a few moments here. Again, we can come back to the breath. Deep, full inhale, let the torso completely expand. And then as we exhale, we're releasing surrender. Stay here for as long as feels appropriate. Press pause. And then when you're ready, as we take our next breath in, we come back to our body, wiggle our fingers and toes, gently roll over to our right as we come into recovery, and slowly make our way up to seated. And then we finish with our namaste. We take our deep breath in, reach those arms overhead, let the hands touch, and as we exhale, we bring the hands to our center. And we thank ourselves for taking a moment to stretch and come into our breath. Namaste.